Hey Capricorn, this is going to be your reading. Welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate it. This reading is for Capricorn. It's for anyone with Capricorn placements. This reading could resonate now or later on down the line. Okay, wow, yeah. So you got the blessed card right away, which I really love. This, um, you know, like I said, is for anyone with Capricorn placements or anyone else who's guided. You also got flexible co-create and to be fair this to me to be fair and flexible are saying the same thing like we're going to do this in a very fair and balanced way but we're going to be really you know we're going to give a little take a little we're going to give give and take right when we co-create so whatever this is it could be about anything in your life but giving and taking and being real you know fair to be fair flexible is what's blessed here so i hope that um you guys will know immediately like immediately what this is about because co-create could mean many different things it could be a relationship it could be working together it could be um business partnership it could be anything where two people or more people are working together flexibly and fairly together and that's blessed so doing things in a give and take manner is very blessed here okay let's find out capricorn or capricorn cross watchers uh let's find out spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this capricorn reading for anyone with capricorn placements or anyone else who's guided to see it what do we need to know about it what are the messages this reading could resonate now or later on down the line capricorn reading one more shuffle capricorn reading okay let's do it what do we need to know okay came right out three of pentacles that could be a work or business situation or finances in some way what do we need to know could also have to do with working together with someone that you're co-creating with right yeah going down the path together working together going down the path together really nice whatever area of life this is for you what i really see here is that you're doing it whoa that's way too many can we just get one or two at a time uh what i really see here is that you're doing it together whatever it is just one or two is all we're taking here one or two okay wow beautiful six of wands what else ten of wands excellent so this is really going to help out a lot so you're coming to the end of an old cycle and you're getting ready to work with another person and go down another cycle down another path this is really nice energy and it's blessed look at that the empress wow this wow <laughs> what a great reading so this is coming out to be some kind of a commitment co-create and the hierophant very fair very balanced working together going down the same path feeling very victorious about this this could have been something um you felt really burdened by but you're gonna find out that once you make this decision to be flexible and fair and do this together you're gonna be so happy you did it's gonna be very successful six of wands and blessed nice energy you know and this look so i've been in my head stressed about this i've gone within as the hermit and i've been trying to figure it out so much so that i got stuck in my head for a while there i feel like you're finally getting to a peaceful place about this whatever it is six of swords eight of swords says eight of swords and ten of wands says this wasn't an easy decision you really had to think on this as the hermit you really had to go within and now you've gone within and you know what to do you unless you know um this is really a state of enlightenment like i've been enlightened the path has been lit for me look at spirit lights the path it's like your own clarity could be lighting this path i know where i want to invest what do i want to put the work into what way do i want to go now that you know it's going to feel so much better. I don't know if you've gotten to this point yet or if you're about to get to this point. Let's get some clarity on it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this reading? Capricorn reading for anyone who's guided. What do we need to know about it? What are the messages? Capricorn reading. You have Virgo, Taurus, Libra coming out in your reading. Virgo, Taurus, Libra, so far. But any of these could be your own energies. You could have any of this in your chart. I uh, call out the signs for those of you that know astrology very well and what's going on astrologically. You do not have to try to uh, apply this. But you have two cards showing me Taurus and you have two cards showing me Libra and you have Virgo here. 
Not that that has to matter to you at all. What do we need to know about this reading? The story is always what's most important. What do we need to know about this reading? Capricorn reading for anyone who's guided. Capricorn reading. One more shuffle. Capricorn reading. Okay, let's do it. Let's take a little look at uh, the Three of Pentacles here. What are we investing in, working together? Okay, that's way, way too many. Can we just get one or two, please? Uh, Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. We're only taking one or two. Okay, there it is, a decision. Two of Pentacles. So this decision helps get you out of your head. The Eight of Swords that we saw right there, now it's reversed. Okay, so this, and it all came from you having to contemplate on it. You were in your head about it. Now you've made a decision. You know what you're going to do. For some of you, this could be a new job you're going to take. Tell me about the two of wands. For some of you, it could be a different kind of commitment. Look at that. As soon as I said it, now I'm not going to take all this because it's too many cards, but look at the eight of pentacles right there. I said, for some of you, this could be a new job you're going to take. Eight of Pentacles is a job card, just like the Three of Pentacles can be. Tell me about the Two of Wands. What do we need to know, Two of Wands? We're only going to take one or two, though. Okay, we got a challenge of the Ace of Cups. So this is your new opportunity, your new beginning. It's been, it's like on hold here. As soon as you decide you're going to step down that path, which you're about to decide to do, you get this Ace of Cups. It's right there. It's like on hold for you. It's like just waiting for you to go down the path that's been lit all right let's look at the six of wands because this is going to be very successful for you um capricorn if you are debating on a new opportunity of any kind whether it's a, a job or whether it's a business partnership or a commitment in another way it looks really promising tell me about the six of wands Again, this is something new, okay? This isn't something that's been around, I don't think. It really, and you know, it could be somebody you already know, but it's like a new, it's a new beginning in whatever that means. Tell me about the Six of Wands. What is the Six of Wands here? Can we just get one or two? Very successful Six of Wands here. Well, look at that. We got three that came, well, that's way too many. I'm not gonna take all that. All right, so we've got the, page of pentacles and the page of cups both reversed we also have the empress reverse and the chariot these all popped out i'm not taking that many cards though but i just wanted you guys to see them tell me about the six of wands we're only taking one or two six of wands please now six of wands is a card of success and forward movement and the chariot did come out with this and there we go look at that the knight of wands reversed as a challenge this with the chariot and with the Six of Wands here, I'm taking into consideration that we did see the Chariot in the upright. Tells me something you move forward with is going to end up being successful. Chariot, Six of Wands, very successful. This is something that's been on hold or something that you didn't budge on before. I'm going to find out why that is there like that. Why is the Six of Wands in reverse a challenge here? Why? No, not the Six of Wands. I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed as a challenge on top of the Six of Wands? Why is the Knight of Wands a challenge in reverse here? Three of Cups reversed. Again, we have something here that's like... Um, now, when I see the Three of Cups reversed, let me just see what back going on back here did you have a problem with a third party possibly now keep in mind some of you are deciding maybe between two things or two people and this is what i think it is because look at the enlightened hangman so not only is the hermit enlightened the hangman is no longer hanging here trying to see things from another perspective and become enlightened they're already enlightened i feel like you're choosing you're choosing something. I feel like this is a choice between two. The new beginning lies between the choice that you, and one of them I feel will be lit for you. Like you're, or you're going to see it while you're in this state of, um, of enlightenment. You're going to, while you're in the hangman and the hermit mode and you become enlightened, that's how you're going to see which person or thing 
or place to choose. This is, I don't know, it's going to be different for each of you. It's a person, place, or thing. You're definitely going to be choosing between two. I see it there and I see it here. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, or three even. It could be between two or three. You might have multiple choice, right? Tell me about, and I'm not saying that, you know, you're some kind of player. I feel like there's just a choice in some matter here for you. Two choices. Where will I move? What will I do? How will I do it? Who will I do it with? Where can I go? Where will I work? Who will I go with? You know, it could be any kind of choice. This doesn't have to be like everybody's, you know, cheating on people. Uh, let's look at the Ten of Wands. What about the Ten of Wands here? It's not been an easy decision because, well, we can see that you've really been contemplating on it, number one. And number two, you felt it was very heavy. And we also have the, um, this is the Princess of Pentacles reverse who popped out earlier with a bunch of other cards, but I put her back. There she is in the upright, but here she is reversed, right? So you were not, I feel like, um, this was really hard because either the opportunity never arrived and that was really heavy energy for you. Like when is this opportunity going to arrive? Or it was just a heavy decision for you to choose between opportunities. So you just kind of stayed stagnant and felt like overwhelmed by it. It's like an overwhelming feeling to me. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Contemplating back and forth, stuck in my head, not sure what to do. I've got to go within. I've got to meditate on this. I've got to take a time out. Whatever it is you do when you go into your hangman mode and your hermit mode. And Spirit says, you know, remember, the blessed part is if you stay flexible and do what's right and co-create. So this is together we work and go down this path together. I'll remain flexible and I will be fair about it. And that's, and we'll work together. That's what's blessed. So that could have been the hard part. You know, some people don't like to work with other people, but sometimes they are just like a little, like, like a test, you know, like spirits like, ah, oh, you're going to have to bend a little, give a little work with people. You're going to have to give and take because it's part of your journey, right? It's your path right there. And your path is a new, beautiful beginning for you, but it's going to mean it might be a little different than you're used to, whatever it is, right? Now this can be any area of your life. I feel I feel for a lot of you, this is like a work or business situation or a partnership of some sort. Tell me about the Empress here. What is this? The Empress Capricorn rating, Empress. You got the devil here and this could be being bound to your own. Um, this is, I do things the way that I do them. And it's like spirits asking me to be flexible and fair and do things like in a co- partnership way some of us are not used to having to consider a partnership and this kind of changes everything and this may well be that's what this energy feels to me this doesn't feel like toxic or bad or anything this is your energy as a capricorn coming through as the empress um it's just to say i almost feel like spirit's almost saying you are the empress in this scenario right needing to make a decision that has to do with whatever this is co-creating with another person where we work together and really this is all this is and you're like well I'm going to be flexible and work with somebody we're going to do it in a real balanced manner and it's going to be really blessed and I mean over and over again all I see is your new beginning will be really blessed you'll work together I don't know what this is uh, it's really nice though tell me about the Hierophant here it is definitely a commitment of some sort I feel like it's going to be totally different for each of you because everything's coming through in this reading. Tell me about the Hierophant. What do we need to know about it? Ooh, that's too many. Just one or two. Hierophant. We're only going to take one or two here. Hierophant, please. Capricorn reading for anyone who's guided. We only got two that came out and they are the lovers and the world and they both came out on their side. The lovers in the upright and the world in reverse came out on their side on top of the Hierophant, the commitment. So this says to me uh, that you're trying to decide. This is a decision. We've got it there. We've got it there. 
and we've got it back here where you're looking at something and you're in your head about a decision and even the the to be fair is really weighing out your options about working with another person and it would mean you'd have to be flexible uh, i feel as though you're trying to decide commit or not commit if i commit i close out an old cycle and i begin a brand new journey brand new journey here brand new journey here this is all new journey and it would constitute closing an old cycle and starting a new one with this beautiful graduation into this new journey it's really nice but you're deciding on whether you want to do it or not it does mean that you would be bound in some kind of um i almost feel like you're going to be in a contract with someone but what is a contract sometimes it's just we agree to work together we agree to be together we agree to um, involve each other in each other's lives we uh, agree to become partners in some way this can be any way at all i don't see anything that specifically says it would be one way or another because we do have the lovers but we also have work cards here with the three of pentacles and we saw the eight of pentacles as well this can be anything and this always reminds me of a work and finance card as well see how she's working and making her money here but this has been not an easy decision. It's almost like this weighed heavily on you while you had to decide what to do about it. I hope you guys will tell me what this is. It looks like it's very, it is very blessed. When you make this decision, you as this Capricorn make this decision to commit to whatever this is, as long as you guys are being flexible and working together as partners in this fair and balanced manner, you're going to go down this beautiful path together. In whatever journey this is, whether this be work, business, partnership, love, doesn't really matter. There's just some kind of a commitment and connection that you're deciding on. This is your decision. And Spirit says this will be blessed. Hope this makes sense to someone. I hope you guys will comment. I'm going to pull you a couple of angel cards. I hope you'll comment down below and let me know exactly, like, just let me know if you know what this is for you that I'm connecting with you. I always love knowing that. Also, guys, your holiday readings are out. And for some reason, because of the Thanksgiving week and how busy we all were, a lot of people did not watch last week's readings. And my readings are for any time you're guided to them so i am guiding you guys right back to last week's readings to watch them because i don't do this for nothing i need you guys to watch these videos or there's no sense in me doing them right it's just a freak thing it happens during the holidays a lot where people are just too busy to stop and watch tarot so if you guys would go watch last week's uh tarot for me i would appreciate it all right let's pull you a couple of angel arts angels for capricorn what do we need to know openness depth wisdom and love came out i pulled this out as like an afterthought for some of you this will be love not for all of you but we have openness and depth and really really sharing and being flexible and working together co-creating it's really important for you guys to dig deep and be really open with each other there is wisdom here look at this kid you not same card that is your hermit card right there that little angel saying, dig deep, really look at this and really be open and, and honest with each other. You've thought about this for a long time or you've thought about it deeply and it's time for, for some of you love, for some of you, it's another area. For some of you, I definitely feel this is like a job or, or a, or a co-creating business partnership. But for a lot of you, this is definitely love. Please do let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. For some of you, um, you know, you thought about this so long that you're ready. Spirit's going, look, you're ready. You already know. You've been enlightened. You know what you need to do here. Your path has been lit. And now this might be, you know, I definitely feel it's with you and another person in some way. Or people. Like I said, it could have been, it could be more than two people. It could be three. Anyway, do let me, and for some of you, you're choosing between options of whatever this is, right? All right, good luck, guys. Thank you so much for joining, and thank you for liking the video. It helps this channel grow, and that's what we do here. We grow. If we don't grow, right, no sense in doing it. Again, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Bye.